Well, good afternoon. Uh, I hope the sound is working. Uh, reason for this video, I'm still working on this stupid project here. I'm sorry about that. It's the way it goes. Reason for this video is I needed a a cabinet over here to hide the electrical box. And I don't have any money to speak of. So I decided I'd use fence pickets. I've been having a good time with fence pickets. So I built this cabinet out of fence pickets. And I'll explain to you how this works. We're going to finish the door. I only got a few screws in this for right now. We'll, we'll get them all put in when I get the door finished here. But I found a way to make these cedar fence pickets look really good. Now the cedar fence pickets are 5 eighths of an inch wide. Thick, right? That's not very damn thick. So the box was made just 5 eighths thick fence pickets. The door, make sure that we can see this. The door was made out of two by fours. These are fence pickets. They're three fence slats and two by fours. I ran them through the planer um, and I planed off a sixteenth of an inch. I put biscuits between the two, glued them together, and then dadoed or grooved on the table saw all the two by fours that I had cut to one and a quarter by one and a quarter and then ran through the planer and <clears throat> grooved that to hold the uh, fence pickets. There ain't nothing wrong with that. I mean, it ain't fine woodworking. This is a uh, shop furniture. It'll be fine. I'm going to show you the finish that I've used on all this stuff. I need to get the air gun. Let's see here. Where's the blower? Could have swore I put it right in here. I'm trying to organize things so that I can better find them. I'll be damned if it works. There's just too much crap. I gotta go upstairs. There'll be a video tonight on the Sig Magnum. There it is. Thank you. 
I build the lock so it doesn't have to be sanded like my airplane. But you do want it to be relatively nice. Let me see what we got here. Nothing. Okay. So we're going to take this uh, lock code Danish oil. I get a glove here. This is a whole lot easier than airplanes. You guys that are on the Woodwork channel whining about finish and sanding and all that, you need to do what I do on airplanes. <laughs> so it's, it's a relatively bland. This is cedar. This is 2x4, construction grade 2x4. All been run through the planer. And it's going to look really nice when it when I do this. This is dark walnut. Look at that. I mean, uh, can you imagine finishing an airplane as easy as that? We're going to put three coats of polyacrylic on it. There's no dry time. You just, you just put it on, wipe it off, put some polyacrylic on it, let it dry. you could stain this several times but want this plenty I'm not making a major project out of this crap make sure you get all the spots because you don't want to show any white through it I did not run the back, did not run both sides through the planer, just one side, because of the thickness of the material. It's only five eighths thick. I didn't want to take an eighth of an inch off of it and make it half inch thick, so. Just one sixteenth off of one side and that's it. Of the of the fence piece. I'll go ahead and stain this, but I don't know about staining the back side of this. I don't think it's necessary. It's only cheap garage furniture. It's not. We ain't building a watch. I hope you guys get something out of all this. What I'm trying to show is that if you can build an airplane, you can damn sure build any of this crap. This is really simple stuff. Okay, let's get another paper towel. Dry it off. Now, I don't know about this material here. I'm going to throw that on the garage floor and I'm going to get it out in the trash can. Because oily rags 
will catch fire. I'm just taking it off now, wipe, wiping it off. All I want to do is stain it. I just, you know, not treating it. We're going to put some polycrylic on it next. $56 a gallon. Ridiculous. Some, we got some swirlies there from the sander. But like I said, this ain't fine furniture, so oh, I don't want to put that in the trash. So now, we're going through this like gangbusters. This is regular old Minwax polycrylic. Pretty warm in the shop here, so it should dry fairly quickly. Get the two inch Harbor Freight brush. Something went boop. Making the place look good. I hope so, Yogi. Been a lot of work. I I don't have it. I do have a before picture. Now that I think about it, it's on my phone. I'll have to uh, add that to this video. What this place looked like because Dan said too bad you don't have movies of it before yeah well I do I have a picture of it I think I put too much finish in the in the thing but that's okay slap it on there Gets three coats of this. How the box is mounted to the wall with just two by fours, I'll show you that. We're broadcasting to both spaces, Stun Hanger and Stun Hanger Woodworks. You know, I see these other woodworkers are sponsored by Oneida and Festool and this, that, and the other. And they ain't got nothing on me. Why the hell am I not sponsored by them guys? Them guys whining about sanding. I was thinking of going to the cabinet shop down the street and say, hey, man, I need a job. 
I'm going to do the job that you hate to do, sand. I bet I can get a job there. Nobody likes sanding except me. Ain't no big deal. Okay. I don't have a, a heat gun or anything to help this along. So. And buddy, if I sand this with 320 and finish it with three coats of polyacrylic, it'll look just like a model airplane finish. This door cost about six bucks. Got the hinge on sale for two dollars and ninety-seven cents. I'm gonna go back and buy the rest of them. I already got the uh, the handles. Hey, Craig. Yeah, uh, if you if you're on Stunhanger Woodworks and you make a comment, it'll show over there. If you're on Stunhanger Regular and you make a comment, it'll show over here, but not back and forth. I didn't design it; I just use it. Summer drive is on, guys, on Stunhanger. Please, if you can, donate because we're in. <laughs> the coppers are bare, and I got to pay Charles. <clears throat> okay. First coat done. Let's see here. Sanding is finishing. You betcha it is. I, you know, when I go, when I watch these, just look at some of the other woodworking channels. They're all whining about sanding. How they hate sanding. Well, if you hate sanding, then you ain't building. <laughs> it's stupid. When you take your car to the painter, the guy who holds the gun and shoots the, the paint on ain't nothing. Anybody can shoot the paint on. The guy who makes the finish look good is the sander and the body man. And if you know how to sand, you can do wonders. Actually, the tapers, the detail guys, too, have a lot to do with your car paint job. How good is your how, how good is your car taped off? I think I got a little bit too much in the corners. So I get a paper towel and wipe that off. So we'll pull the camera over and I'll show you the cabinet.
All right, now we should have sound. Okay, I'll run over this again. This box is two fence pickets. Um, run through the planer on one side. No sanding, really, to speak of. Mitered corners. The box is square. Okay, great. Um, one coat of that wipe on finish and three coats of polycrylic. It looks like it could use another coat on the side here. It's uh, kind of white. Looks like it uh, looks like it kind of soaked in or whatever. But we're not going to worry about it. how it's mounted is just a two by four across the top, two screws from the top. Uh, two wood screws from the top, so it's like on a cleat system. It's just hanging up there, two screws. And then to keep it from going side to side, two blocks on the bottom, one on each side, a screw from, and that's it. It You can't, <laughs> you couldn't pull that off the wall. No way. So let me get this glove off here. Kind of sticky. There we go. All right. So self-centering drill bit. use an impact but because these screws are so we'll put them in at eight see if that works you can over tighten them and strip them and if you strip them you're screwed that's too much five still less three Cedar's pretty soft stuff. There we go. Get some more screw. Well, I know I got them in here somewhere. There they are. Okay. Did you guys want me to keep going with this series or not? You know, I I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the Magnum fuselage tonight, but I've been working around my house so much. I mean, I'll show you what I'm doing if you guys want to see it. If not, we can. We can forego this stuff. And if you think about it, it's all model airplane related because there's it's all this is all the same shit. <laughs> okay, we got all the screws in there. A month ago, none of this existed. The place looked like, let me see if I get it on my phone here. I was outside looking at the roof. 
I really need to uh, rip the entire roof off, rebuild the trusses, and put the sheeting back down. But not going to happen this year because it looks like kind of sway back. It's going to be a hundred thousand dollar garage before it's done. Photos. Let's see here. There we go. The place looked like yeah. that wall there is that wall there <laughs> exactly the same. Kicking ass and taking names. I don't think I showed this. Of course, I could be wrong. That's fine furniture, fine outdoor furniture made with a fence, made with fence pickets and two by fours. It's got a super nice finish on it. It's all been drilled and dowelled. Now there's screws in it, but you can't see them. They're all capped with dowels. Plain sanded and ready to go. Of course, I built the... Uh, I built a couple styles of flower pots, that one. Birdhouses you saw. We got we got vegetable baskets. Another different style of flower pot. Uh, I take the scraps and build the birdhouses with them. But no bites, no sales yet. The only thing I sold this week is my PA 75. Okay. Looks like we can, that sucked it up pretty good. Now wait, wait for another coat. Oh, man. You guys got any questions? I mean, we've got eight watchers. Not not a whole lot, but... Uh, is that... That's not bad for a fence picket. That It's one and a half fence picket. This is three slats, so... They're 72 inches long, and this is 35, so it just was outside the the thing for one fence picket, so it took, took two, one eight foot two by four, split in half, plus I had some extra left over for the, uh, the frame. This work here is so easy compared to model airplanes you, you i can't explain it to you i mean 
you bing bang and nail it together and you're done put some glue on it wait for it to dry it's that boot i mean if i could finish an airplane like this yeah well it's uh cost six bucks for this door two fence pickets 388 a picket so i probably got less than twenty dollars invested in that cabinet plus time Have to go flying. Well, Craig, take care. Have a good good flight. I'll probably start flying. Well, tomorrow I got to go fix a motorcycle for a friend of mine. They they were they couldn't wait till I got back in town. Call me up. You do it. Can you come and fix my bike? Yeah, I'll go. I'll go do it. He's going to get hit for $100 service call, but I'll get it done. It's an old shovel head, 74. 1974-74 shovel. Some somehow he had it on the the uh, battery charger and they had a lightning he had a lightning strike and it fried all the electronics on the bike, the electronics meeting the points. 63 Chevy six-cylinder points. It probably just took out the condenser, maybe the coil. We'll have to see. I'll have to load it and see. I got the kids running around out there. Still a little tacky. I want to get another coat on it before I hang it up there. I'll put the third coat on it when I get it up there. Actually, I could put it up. I could put it up and let it dry up there. Probably wise because it looks like it's stuck to the paper. Should have used my bench cookies. Paint the whole thing on the wall. Come on, you get up there. There it is. Too bright out there. Okay, so I got a clamp across the bottom to hold it up while I get it up there on the on the wall or on the cabinet. The spacing is one half inch off the bottom, so set that right there. I better get I got the screws right there. Good. Yeah, I get a screw in this thing. Oogie doogie. Get the drill in it.
Okay, we're going to use the impact now with it. It's too slow the other way. I just have to be careful. I have to not strip them. Yeah, I could put a mirror on it. I don't know why. <laughs> it just hides the electrical box. I didn't like the unsightly electrical box. I still got to tape the drywall, get the rest of the ceiling put up. Gotta get a catch for it. Some type of latch. We'll get a handle on it. I need an extension on that. <laughs> I need an extension. We'll use a short. So when you watch these guys woodworking videos and they're all whining about sanding, send them over to Stun Hanger. Show them how to finish. I mean, God. Good to be ambidextrous. It's hot in here. Have to turn the air conditioning on. to turn the air on. I think it's got enough screws in it. <laughs> I just did it because it was easy. I could have put two hinges on it, but the piano hinge was on sale for two dollars and ninety-seven cents. Covers the whole length of the door, so it'd be tough to rip it off. I'll just let that dry and then later on this evening I'll give it another coat and tomorrow I'll give it another coat. It'll be beautiful. For fence picket. Fence picket furniture. There we go. A little squeaky, but that's the way it goes. Need a little oil. No, maybe not. Got to have oil down in your carburetor. Now, we got different kind. I guess I can use these poles. These poles cost me a quarter, and I think this, this gold pole would probably look the best. Put it here. Okay.
I don't know if I want to bury this bolt into this, not letting it close all the way. I think you're supposed to have it on the style, but I think we'll put it right there. We'll put it right there. Getting down is a whole lot easier than getting up. Okay, so we need the, another drill bit that's the same size as this. That looks to be about uh, 1164. Nope, bigger than that. Probably quarter. Yep, quarter. So I just drilled that with a 516th grab bit, but we'll use a quarter chaser. I got other kinds of hardware too, but this was cheap. Come on now, get in there. Bigger than that even. Bigger than a quarter. <laughs> okay, we'll get it. We'll make it bigger than a quarter. Big one. Hardware jig, I just I didn't bother to take it out. Straight slot. <laughs> Shit. Come on now, get in there. So all that's left is to uh, either put a magnet or some type of catch on it i don't have it so we're not going to worry about it today okay this is a great slot yeah Gonna do it, it's gotta be perfect. <laughs> I tried my when biscuit joiner today, works perfect. I don't know what everybody's whining about. works perfect so there you go there's a cheap cabinet a cheap finish done super quick the finish is not quite dry we're going to give it i'm going to give the cabinet and the door another coat it's it's still a little wet so we'll wait for it to to dry up and then i'll hit it again but in 45 minutes i finished it and hung it so I don't want to hear no crap about, oh, I hate sanding.
I mean, it's it's not a it's not a piano. It's not a twenty point airplane, but it looks fine for a cabinet. For you know, it, all it does is hide the uh, electrical box. I got to get up there and get the chipboard and the drywall back on it. I got a piece of drywall here. I mean, they're just. I take the drywall, paint the wall, and uh, on and on and on. So just because I'm not posting airplane videos, don't think I ain't working. I'm working my tail off. Try to catch up. The house projects, these projects, fix the gate, fix the bathroom, fix the toilet. Build this, build that. Got me running around like a chicken with my head cut off. Got the alarm system in. Got the cameras up. The lights outside. Oh, God. So make sure to like, subscribe, and share. And there's going to be some other projects I'm going to do only on the woodwork side. We're going to get back to uh, the Magnum tonight. See, it's four o'clock. So in about, I think I'm going to have to change my normal time to uh, eight o'clock instead of seven central because I got a couple hours just to wrap up here before I can go upstairs. So as far you know, got to eat dinner and it's just too much to keep keep rolling. So look for a video tonight. We're gonna. I figured out what I'm going to do with the Magnum. I'm just going to forego all that stock stuff. If you remember on the Magnum kit, I had the stock fuselage out of the kit that had the nose was two inches shorter than the plans. I knew there was something weird about that. And uh, sure, I'm glad I caught it and uh, get to rebuild it be before you get the airplane done and it won't balance. So... And the funny thing about that is, is they show it with a Super Tiger 46 in the nose. If you had a 46 in the nose with that short a nose on it, it'd be so damn tail heavy you couldn't fly it. So, so at least I caught it. All right, I got to get get to work cleaning this place up. Been on for almost an hour. That's my, my normal wrap-up time is an hour. I'll clean the place up. Probably get another coat on before I go to bed or go back in the house. And uh, I should I come out here at five o'clock in the morning and work till 10, 11 o'clock at night out here. Got the uh, show you this. I didn't like if you saw I built this. This was a router table. Let me explain to you what this is. This is a router table. I didn't like it because you got to stand on your head to get the router in and out of it. So I'm going to, I ordered a set of plans to a mobile router table that folds up. So we're going to build one of those. And then I can just fold it up into a little cube. It's about a foot square. So I decided that I would put a top on this. Well, this is three quarter inch oak plywood with a, with a doubler on it. And they don't make they don't make uh, edge banding inch and a half wide. So this is 64th plywood, model airplane plywood all the way around it for edge banding. And how I did that was I put white glue on both surfaces, let it dry, took my monocoat iron and ironed it down, glue to glue, and then trimmed it off and sanded it. So, I haven't seen that on the internet anywhere. I should, probably should have posted a video on how to do that, but I didn't. So, but that's all model airplane stuff. That's not uh, that's not cabinet making stuff, like I say. And but if you're going to do that, any of you woodworking guys are going to do that. This plywood is super expensive. It's fifty dollars a sheet. You get a foot wide by 48 inches long for 50 bucks, so you don't want to do much of it on that. And it might even have went up because you can't get it 
It's only made by one one manufacturer. I think Germany makes it. But it matches oak plywood perfect. And of course, three coats of polyacrylic on top of that. I had to uh, redo the, the uh, rail on the bottom because that rail, this rail here had a switch in it, if you remember. And I go, that's not going to work. So what I'm going to do for drawers, because my drawer slides, I only have 14. And this cabinet is not 14, it's 13 and a half. So I'm screwed there. So I'm going to scab in some um, three-quarter plywood, which will leave it stick out about three-sixteenths of an inch. I'll run a groove in it, and the drawers will, the bottoms will slide into the grooves. So we'll have drawers going all the way down. But there again, there's only so many hours in a day, and I just can't. I've come a long way in a month, and in six months, this place will be phenomenal. But... You know, you really can't, uh, I can't keep up. So if you would, if I earned your, earned your like, please give me a like on both channels. Share it with your friends. Help me get Stunhanger Woodworks going. I'll show you guys how to do some stuff the easy way. Instead of all the, the hard nonsense that these guys teach. I'm no Rob Cusman. I'm not cutting hand, tough, hand cut dovetails, but I do have a dovetail machine, and we can make some dovetail drawers with it. All right, we'll see you later. For the guys on the stunt hanger side, fair winds, tight lines. And on the other side, keep sanding. See ya.